we have uncovered a remarkable planet. A world of extreme weather, alien landscapes, and bizarre phenomena. It's the most complex system we know of in the universe. That planet is Earth. And we are only beginning to unlock its secrets. It is a killer cloud that the weatherman can't predict. This is a belt from the guts of the Earth. A volcanic storm that can bring down a jumbo jet. On any given day, at least 20 are erupting on planet Earth. And one could turn a good day into doomsday. Straight from the planet's molten core to the sky above, volcanic weather is about to change the forecast for the planet on Secrets of the Earth. Even from space, Earth's swirling clouds are a dead giveaway that this can be a stormy planet. But look closely. Another type of cloud indicates weather of a different kind. These are volcanic eruptions, and they have a secret power to alter Earth's weather forever. Volcanic weather is the weather influenced by the presence of gigantic volcanic eruptions. We now realize that volcanic eruptions can influence the weather in ways that we never appreciated before. One volcanic hotspot is the Central American country of Guatemala, home to 37 volcanoes. The most dangerous is called Volcan Fuego, or Fire Volcano. With nearly constant daily eruptions, it's Guatemala's most feared volcano. Mountain guide Victor Ferro has spent years climbing and observing Fuego. This is the spine of the beast. Volcan Fuego, one of the most active volcanoes on planet Earth. Right now we're walking on what we call the knife ridge. You've got about a thousand feet drop on this side. A thousand foot drop on this side. This is a gnarly place to be. And if you look up ahead, you can see the very active cone. Sometimes it just blows. No warning. You just duck and run for cover. September 13, 2012. The 12,500 foot tall Fuego explodes. Blasting lava rocks and ash thousands of feet high. And forcing the evacuation of 30,000 people from the villages surrounding the nearby city of Antigua. If you can imagine this entire cone blowing apart. It shoots huge chunks of lava rock, sometimes the size of cars, straight up into the air, thousands of feet over your head. This is a belch from the guts of the earth. Volcan Fuego is one of the biggest. But it's not the big chunks of rock that change the weather. It's the massive clouds of ash. Ash is formed in a split second when gases dissolved in molten rock expand under extreme pressure. The force of the escaping gas violently shreds the molten rock into ash. Tiny particles of glass and rock that are smaller than the finest grains of beach sand and harder than a knife blade. It exceeds the speed of sound as it leaves that vent and it propels ash and this debris tens of miles into the atmosphere. We're sitting at about 12,500 feet, going right up to the summit of Volcan Fuego. When there's a large eruption, ash belches out of this volcano. It can obscure and block any plane travel anywhere near this volcano. A volcanic ash cloud is the most dangerous form of volcanic weather a pilot will ever encounter. 
since 1980. Ash has damaged the engines of almost 100 airplanes and has endangered thousands of passengers. Airplanes cannot see ash clouds. It doesn't appear on radar. Radar can detect typical clouds because they contain moisture. But volcanic ash clouds are dry. The secret to why they're invisible to radar. December 15, 1989. An aircraft flies dangerously close to the ash cloud from Alaska's erupting Mount Redoubt. The engines that these large jets are running, they run at such high temperatures that when ash is injected into those engines, it stops those engines from moving. At 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, the operating temperature of a jet engine is hot enough to melt volcanic ash. After the ash melts, it re-solidifies and clogs the engine's compressor, causing it to shut down. After a 14,000 foot freefall, the pilots are able to restart the engines just one minute before impact. When Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull volcano erupted in 2010, it ejected a massive ash cloud 55,000 feet high. Aviation authorities closed Europe's airspace for six days, stranding 10 million people. On Earth, the ash from volcanic eruptions can reach into the stratosphere and alter the weather across the planet. This is an ash slope formed by a, an explosive volcanic eruption. Fuego has had many of these eruptions. And uh, what we see here is coarser material than what we get in the stratosphere. But if a volcano spills out a lot of very fine ash and it goes into the stratosphere, that can have an effect on climate because some of that ash will block sunlight. The finer particles rise with the wind column and can reach 20 miles into the Earth's stratosphere and spread out to cover thousands of square miles. The ash cloud is like a heavy blanket, preventing solar radiation from penetrating the atmosphere and causing the Earth to cool. The explosive eruptions can have major effects on weather. We call those volcanic winters. Volcanic winters are one of planet Earth's secret weather anomalies. June 15, 1991, the Philippines. In the 20th century's second biggest eruption, Mount Pinatubo ejects 10 billion metric tons of pulverized rock and ash, killing nearly 800 people, most of whom are crushed under collapsing roofs. Global temperatures fall by an average of 1.3 degrees over three years. The eruption stalls the Pacific jet stream, causing massive rainfall in some areas and drought in others. Catastrophic flooding of the Mississippi River in 1993 is blamed on Pinatubo. Volcanic ash can alter the climate around the world. But at the site of the eruption, it creates bizarre and violent weather phenomenon, a volcanic secret that scientists are just beginning to unlock. Volcanoes spawn wild weather on Earth. Sometimes, they can even launch an electrical storm unlike anything in the solar system. It's called volcanic lightning. Volcanic lightning is a very localized form of volcanic weather. Scientists on Earth have tried to explain this phenomenon for years, but its secrets are not given up easily. March 15, 2009. 
when Alaska's Mount Redoubt erupts. Scientists record the volcanic lightning storm using a very high frequency antenna positioned near the cone. What they find is mind bending. More than 7,000 lightning strikes over a single 70 minute eruption. But what secret force is at work creating this hellish display? So as this ash material and gas is rapidly ascending through the atmosphere at very high speeds, hundreds of miles an hour, ash particles are being pulled apart and it's generating this positive and negative electrical charges which then stimulate lightning strikes. Higher in the plume, multi-million volt lightning bolts discharge much the same as those in a typical thunderstorm. Supercooled water droplets get charged with electricity and a massive electrostatic discharge rips through the ash cloud. These photos of Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull in 2010 capture the split-second lightning bolts, each one traveling at more than 220,000 miles per hour. Lightning is just one of the volcanic secrets being decoded by scientists on planet Earth.